Hey guys, welcome to Wednesday Night Live. So I'm going to give everyone a few minutes to tune in and then I'm going to actually need a vote from you guys. I have two incomplete tables that I really need to work on and I just haven't even been like confronting it. So I thought the live video would be a perfect place to do that. Let me just go ahead and get this pulled up. Computer is really slow as usual. If any of you are there, I can't see yet, but hello, hello, hello. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. My computer is being a butt. All right, I'm going to come back around to my phone because I can see there while I get the computer loaded up. Loaded up. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Oh, hey guys. <laughs> hey Beth. Hey Cindy. Hey Veronica. Hey Heather. Veronica, I'm actually wearing my charming today. <laughs> All right. Very good. I have it pulled up. Okay. So like I said, for those of you just tuning in, I actually have two incomplete resin tables. This is actually a tabletop. It's from Ikea. It's two foot by two foot. It's uh, the LAC model. Anna, it isn't yet, but we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully with this video. Hey, Linda. Oh, I want to show you guys a, a secret. Hold on. It's not so secret if I show you. Hold on. Yikes. Oh, it's not a live video if I don't knock something over. Just happened. I have a few touch-ups to do. I don't know. I've, I've been really in a, a beach mood recently. Anyways, I made this super cool serving tray for someone. It's a gift. Um, so it's got the actual sand in there and everything. This is actually several layers of resin. So anyways, just wanted to show you guys because I'm excited. Things are just falling on their own. I wasn't even over there. It's been that kind of day. You know that painting I showed you guys earlier on the I'm having a crap acrylic pouring day? Well, I dropped it. <laughs> so it looks totally different now. Anyways, okay. Uh, let's see. So, I need your votes. I have this table which is incomplete. This is purples and golds. <laughs> and then I have this table, which is blues and silvers. It doesn't look that great. Neither of them look that great because A, they're not done. B, I sanded them. So it's not as like shiny as they would be. I'm in love with both of them though. But which one would you guys like to see me work on? Say either blue or purple down in the comments. Blue or purple. Blue or purple. I would love to do both, but I have not enough drying space. So I have to just do one for right now. Okay, it looks like... Shoot. It's pretty even, but I think purple is winning. Let me see. Veronica, can I get a consensus? Do you think purple or blue? <laughs> Which one's winning? Oh, shoot. Now I got more blues. Come on, guys. You're making my life difficult. <laughs> I really like both of them. Personally, I'm voting for the blue. <laughs> but it looks like... It looks like more... Yeah, purple is already set up. That's true. Okay, I think we're going to go with purple for tonight, guys. And then I promise to do the blues, that one soon. Hey, Clara. Okay, so next is trying to determine what to do with this. I do want to kind of continue in the same pattern that I was doing. My table is not level, so this originally was a more centered design, and then it kind of wee. Um, I do have this brand new... Arteza glitter, which oh my goodness, 
I'm gonna give you guys a close up. It's kind of amazeballs. Oh, that's an idea, Heather. But tomorrow I have a live home talk video. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can show you guys these glitters because I am so excited. Okay, so first of all, the pack, it is holographic. I always feel like I'm saying that wrong, but holographic glitter. And on one side is fairy dust and on one side is moonstone. Can you guys see that okay? The moonstone has like stars and all kinds of stuff in it. They're both awesome. So I was thinking about using some of this on this painting. Seems to fit for me, but we'll see. All right. I have not tried Arteza mica powder. I have pretty much everything else though. I've got some of their watercolor paints. I've got a bunch of stuff that I still haven't even tried because I always get way too much stuff and then take forever to try it. Okay, let's do this. So I do have the epoxy mixed up, but I need to mix up the colors. And so I'm gonna put gold in this smaller cup and then also a small cup of white and then a big cup of blue and a big cup of purple. That's what we're gonna start with. The colors I used in here were um, cobalt butterfly. I used the butterfly color, which is that blue. And then I used iris, which is the purple. At least I'm pretty sure. I used the uh, Stone Coat countertop violet pearl. And then I think the uh, just resin gold, I think. It was like in the middle of the night when I did this one originally. And I, of course, did not video it, so I can't even refer back to my video. Um, oh, sorry, Heather. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet. Hey, Judy. All right, let's get to mixing. Get to mixing. So I love, love, love these pastes from Cobalt Butterfly. And I'm actually running out of my two favorite colors, which is going to make me kind of sad, but that's okay. Luckily, I can usually get more. <laughs> Hi from Sydney. How is it going down under? Australia is pretty much constantly in my thoughts. Okay, this one is the butterfly. Whew, today has been interesting, you guys. It's one of those definitely nothing going right day. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use the Alumilite dye for the white. I'm not sure if that's what I originally used, but it'll work just fine. And then just resin gold for the gold. A bit wet today? Yes, that's great. I don't think this is the original gold that I used. This seems much more shiny, but I like it. So that's what I'm going to use. <laughs> it doesn't have to be the same one. Thanks, Veronica. All right. And I'm using the Stone Coat Countertops Countertop Resin. For this table, um, I need about 12 ounces. I did mix up some extra because I always like to have extra. Plus, there's a few other products, projects I need to resin. So, here we go. There we go. I'm not worried if I get clear on here. I always end up mixing up too much gold and too much white, so hopefully not this time. Okay, there we go. And I will worry about the glitters at the end. 
Yeah, I think having a different gold will bring more depth anyway, so it's all good. Need more blue and purple. Yeah, this table was actually a sample for something, and then I just never finished it. And now I have all these like half finished tables all around my house and it's driving me crazy. So I thought on today's live video, I would try to tackle at least one of them. You can only have so many tables in your house. Guys, do not forget to thumbs up. It's much appreciated. Always. I know sometimes you just get all excited and you start watching and then totally forget about that. Writing a children's book with your art for the focus on the story. That'd be fun. Definitely something to consider. I actually have two other books that I'm mid writing right now. <laughs> um, I don't tape the sides, no. So on this table, Actually, I did not really prep this table. I lightly sanded it, and that's about it. Um, it does have drips underneath, and at the when it's all dry and done, I just sand those off. I found that to be the easiest. I am not good at prepping things, unless they absolutely has to have it. All right, so let's start with, I'm going to put some clear. Uh-oh, got some blue here. I'm going to put some clear here. And this is kind of where I'm thinking that some of the glitter is going to go is there in the middle. I do have these stones sticking up here that I um, need to get covered somehow. So I'm thinking even after this layer, I'll probably need at least one more layer on there of epoxy. Oh, you know what? I'm going to mix up some of that violet pearl also. Um, I will probably not finish the sides with gold. I like the drippy drips. I like the continuation of the color on the sides. Clara, I have not, but it's definitely been something I've intended to try. I'm not going to lie. I can be a little lazy. <laughs> so, I really try to take the fastest route. All right, Violet Pearl, here we go. When resin something do you... Dina, I'm so sorry. Can you give me that question again? <laughs> okay, let's get started. So I do the gold and the white after. I am going to follow my same kind of initial pattern. Thank you, Clara. Much appreciated. Um, there was, I think, originally a lot more purple in this painting. Okay. So, let's see. This would go here. And yeah, this will end up having a clear coated on it anyway, so it doesn't entirely matter if I get a full, full, full coverage right at this exact second. Yeah. Well, it already tilted off, so I'm just kind of just keeping that pattern there. It'll keep moving on its own after this too, I'm sure. Here's, all right, purple. And don't worry about, don't, don't stress about the in-between process. Like, it'll morph as we go. Ah, Dina. Um, yeah, you wouldn't want to sand it after it's cured unless you need to do another layer. That's the only reason to sand it, because then it, um, it gives you grip so that your new layer of resin can attach. Mm 
Okay, I'm definitely feeling more certain that these were the original colors that I used. So that's good. And this is just to kind of give it some more depth and fix up some places I wasn't entirely happy with. It kind of feels like I'm redoing it basically, but yeah, if you need to put another coat on the resin for some reason, you do want to sand it first. As always, I like to get in here with my hands. And this lowly Vefe mat under here has been so awesome. I can literally just, the resin peels right off of it or acrylic, whatever it is, totally peels right off. So it's pretty awesome. And I've been taking my time on it, but coming up real soon, I have a potentially super awesome leftover resin drip project coming up. In my head, it's super awesome, so I can't like totally vouch for it because I haven't tried it in real life, but I'm pretty sure it will be amazing. Um, Paige, I do not. You are perfectly welcome to if you'd like to. This particular resin has um, no VOCs, which is the harmful chemicals. Now that does not mean that you should not wear a mask. And I would never ever advise anyone to not wear a mask. So that's my answer to that. Some people are definitely way more sensitive to it than other people. I seem to not be one of those people. Okay, excellent. Now I'm going to get in here with some of the Violet Pearl. And I think this goes perfectly with this color combo because it gives it some of that white, but it also has the hint of the purple. Let's see, I'll put it right here. Yeah, research the resins you use. All resins are different. If you pick up resin from like Michaels or Home Depot or something, it is a totally different resin than what I'm using. And that stuff smells horrible. And I definitely would wear a mask. This is not the same. So not all resins are the same. The two that I know that are pretty safe are Art Resin and then Stone Coat Countertops, which is what I'm using. So check those out, you know, do your own research. And also, I mean, know your own body too. Okay. I am definitely liking this so far. I do still have my white. Let's get in here a little bit with that. With the white, I'm mainly going to use it to um, take a stick afterwards and make some more individual lines. But I'll put some here. And of course there are way more sophisticated tools that you can use for this job too. <laughs> but you know, I like my good old hands. All right. I think I've got basically every color on there. I'm going to go around and just kind of fill in some spots. Oh, I haven't put the gold yet. That's right. I knew there was another color. How are we digging that violet pearl? I'm thinking that I might add some more because I think it goes really well with this whole color scheme. Candice, this is resin mixed with 
made me paste. Okay, I do have more purple. I'm gonna get in some of the corners. At some point, I'll probably have to come around to the other side of the table. Yeah, I'm really, so this one right here is the Violet Pearl. Oops, and now it's mixed with some of the white. But it's got the like pink tint or purplish tint to it while also having that pearl. Okay. Yay. I'm trying to get my sides at the same time, probably doing a totally horrible job. It's so funny. People really dislike the drippy sides. They think that it looks unfinished. I, on the other hand, love it. I'm definitely more of the abstract kind of person. And people feel like the sides are unfinished, and I feel like they're perfect. Couldn't have done it better but it's all personal taste. Except a lot of people don't realize that too. They don't realize that it's personal taste. <laughs> um, Heather, I don't, um, but I do have all their products in my Amazon store and I know they do have discounts on, well, I mean, you can try Hey Guys, that may still work, but um, they're not really doing an affiliate program anymore. So I haven't asked them if my coupon code is still good. I'm pretty sure it would be. But yeah, you could try that. It'd be $10 off of orders of 95 or more. Is what Hey Guys would do. Okay, and I definitely have not forgotten about the glitter. I still gotta get in there with the glitter. What do you guys think about the drippy sides? Do you like the drippy sides? Or do you prefer like a solid color on the sides? Okay, I'm gonna come around because I can't see the other side. Ooh, nice and drippy. I'm trying not to leave it like too drippy. But yeah, I love the drippy drips. Excellent. Oh, little spot right here. Okay. So I feel like it's glitter and gold time. Drippy but smooth. Oh. Yeah, when I do the clear coat, when I do the clear coat, I make sure that the sides are coated very evenly. So I'm not worried about the smoothness because those two, like I'll sand. All right, glitter, glitter, glitter. Okay, I'm gonna go with the purple glitter, which I already forgot what it's called. And I have no idea where I put the block. Okay, this one is fairy dust. So I'm gonna get a little bit of that mixed up. This is so pretty. I'm gonna come back around and show you guys again. And I'm gonna pretty much put this right in the center with probably some other accents. Okay. Here's the one I think would go really well with this project. So hopefully you guys can kind of 
See, it's got different, some of it's uh, bigger pieces. It's got some fine glitter in there. <laughs> How are your gloves still looking clean? Because I did a magical switcheroo and put on clean gloves. I know, right? I'm so talented. I am just putting a little bit of clear in here. Because there's already clear in the middle. I'm going to mix it with my violet resin. My violet pearl stick. And this is just to make it so it doesn't fly all over the place. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, bugger. I drifted over here. Uh, I hope I don't live to regret this. But I might. Okay, let's see. I think I should have put it maybe more in the middle. I think I might. I'm going to... I'm going to play around with this. Sorry, guys. I may sometimes act like I know what I'm doing, but I really am just making it up as I go. <laughs> just in case you're ever wondering, there is no plan. <laughs> okay, that's super sparkly. I didn't necessarily want to cover up those stones. So I'm going to try to kind of wipe it off of there. <laughs> eh. It happens. Okay. Very sparkly. <laughs> okay. So... Especially since I already dripped some over here. I will be adding some more accents with that. FYI. For now. Let's go ahead and work on some of our other accents. I think this part needs more of the violet pearl. Personally. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more of that in there. Pour clear on top of that. Yeah, that's possible. Let's try this. I'm not really happy with that white there. That white is definitely too stark. And do not forget about the gold. I still have gold. Also, this is totally going to move as it dries, so it's not going to be like a perfect circle or anything. Just in case anyone was wondering. Okay, let's go ahead with gold. Welcome, Melissa Winter. Aw, bye, Tracy. Okay, so I'm going to get in here with a tiny bit of gold. All right, let's get over here. And I think that this just ends up adding a bit more character, you know? Get on some of the sides. I'm trying not to make it like too stripey, you know? This isn't a canvas. This is a table. It's a side table. Um, and it's about two feet by two feet. So. Gold. Also, what I'm thinking is that since I have to do another layer of resin anyways on this, after this layer is dry, I think I will get in here with some of my gilding and actually paint some more gold on here. 
and that will give it even more depth. That's my thought process anyways. All right. I'm going to blend this white a little bit more into the purple. Too much white. Yes, I really hope that you guys were not expecting like any perfect plans or anything. Okay, now I'm gonna go along with my white and the stick and add some white accents throughout a few spots. Hey, all spicy. <laughs> okay. Whew, there we go. We're pretty much there. That glitter in the middle just looks lonely. So I'm going to also add some glittery accents. I feel like this glitter was maybe a little more chunky than I thought it would be. So it's just not moving quite as well as I had anticipated, to be perfectly honest. That is somewhat the sitch here. That's okay. I'm also like really, really uber hungry. I do not recall the last time I ate. Okay, coming around. Getting the corners with the maglida. I feel like this needs more glitter. What do you guys think? That could also be done in the clear coat too. But then I would probably feel like it needs yet another coat. Just saying. I feel like that glitter is a little lonely. But if you put more clear in your cup with a glitter and then a little diamond dust, ooh, diamond dust. Well, there's also gold dust. Since this has the gold tones, that may work out. You know, I've got some more of the violet pearl here too. I think I'm gonna throw some glitter in with the violet pearl. Oh, I also do have more gold. Two. Mm hmm. Thoughts, 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 thoughts. Let's see. Decision time. Okay. I'm going to put some glitter in with the violet pearl. And I think just in the clear coat, I will put just a smidge of the gold dust. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I don't know that it'll work out right this exact second. Oh, I still have a little more blue too. Okay. So I'm gonna do some blue accents on the corners as well. I have a few spots that are still a little bit bare. Like a surgeon. No more gold, Violet Pearl. Yeah, gold can definitely take over. Hey, honey. And yeah, if I put, um, if I did put the gold dust in the final coat, it would have literally just like a tiniest smidge. So like it's, it would be like just this fun accent. Ooh, I'm gonna show you what the violet pearl looks like with this glitter. It's pretty. It kind of toned it down a little bit, which is kind of nice actually. Here, look. Focus. Come on, phone. Focus. There we go. Can you guys see that? So that's the violet pearl with that glitter. So I think that shall work out. 
let us put it, I'm going to put some over the existing violet pearl here. And then, let's put it over this. Hope my arm is not totally in the way, guys. Sorry. Just since I was, like, already over here. Thought it might be easier to go at it from this side. Okay. There we go. Also, while I'm over, over here, getting here with a little bit, some blue accents. Nice. <laughs> can you really have too much glitter? No, but it can be like unbalanced, I think. I don't think you can have too much. I just think it needs to be, it needs to have some evenness to it. That breaking up that purple a little bit over there. Okay. Then I'm gonna use the purple to break up this blue over here a bit. And like I said, this is still not yet the final layer, but after this shouldn't be too much, just a couple points on the clear coat. I think I am happy with that. What do you guys think? Always inspirating. Uh, probably about an hour for this, if not to two hours. It depends on the temperature. If you're in a hot room, it might be a bit less. It's cold right now, so I could probably keep going on this for a couple hours. Except that I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> okay. I think... I should leave it as is. What do you guys think? Or maybe a little more white accents? That's my only thing I'm thinking. Step away and call it done, right? You can totally overwork things. That is 100%. And any of this leftover resin is going into my um, pyramid mold for the next one. Throw in some black. For once, I'm not using black, and people are asking for black. Put some gold in the middle. Yeah, I had a thought of putting something in the middle, but I couldn't really decide what, maybe. Also, I still got to torch this. I'm going to go ahead and torch this real quick. Oh, goodness, Marcy. Stop knocking things over. Heat and blend a little. I wonder if you can light the glitter on fire. <laughs> I hope not. But that would be kind of funny. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to leave the middle. Because, Lord knows, I can totally F it up. Okay. As you can probably see, if you look at this gold, it's already shifting a bit this way. So, we'll see how this dries. I think for now, I'm going to leave it as is. <laughs> yeah, it'll keep moving as it dries, especially because this table's not level, but also just because resin... 
does that. It just keeps moving a bit. Uh, but I will definitely 100% show you guys. And someone asked something about um, the auction. I might include some tables in the auction. I've been actually meaning to. I just haven't gotten around to it because I have too many incomplete ones. So next auction, which I'm thinking about doing next Wednesday night. So don't try it at home. <laughs> yep. So there you go. Have you tried a tree ring pour with resin? Uh, tree ring pours, unfortunately, really don't work with resin. It blends too much. Tub time tails, it just depends on what look you're going for. Sometimes I love, like, you can tell. See how this blue has basically like a, a flat look? Like, it doesn't look sparkly, whereas this looks a bit sparkly, like the metallic look. Um, and that's largely the difference between a paste and a powder. Also just depends on your preference. You know, they mix a little bit differently. I'd say usually the paste is a little bit easier to mix than a mica powder, but mica powders have a lot of amazing depth that you may or may not get with a paste. So it just kind of depends. I'm just fixing a few spots that I missed because you know, can't leave it alone. That would be too easy. All right. <laughs> this is a this is just a little side table. Yeah, I have some like coffee tables that I've done too. I like to do furniture, but then I run out of room in my house. So Marcy, put that on the stick and walk away. Go turn off the video and eat dinner. That's what I'm telling myself in my head right now. <laughs> okay, the end. Boom. <laughs> Aw, sorry, deal, Tyler. I'm sorry. Okay, kids, you have an excellent rest of your night. Tomorrow will be an excellent paint day. We'll not be dropping any paintings. Let's do a quick close up. It's gonna shake. One second. Okay. So you can see the glitter. I love it. Very sparkly. Here's the middle. So you can definitely still see the stones. Aw, oh, thank you, Anna. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy with how this came out. So it should pretty much just need a clear coat. And then we good. All right, I will see y'all later. Bye.